When did someone's laziness finally catch up with them? My lab partner, Brad, was the worst kind of lazy. Every chemistry assignment, he'd show up hungover, copy my work, then somehow convince our professor he'd done half the effort. First week of class, he forgot to bring his notes and asked to copy mine. Second week, he missed lab entirely and begged me to cover for him. By month two, he'd roll in 10 minutes late, watch me set up the entire experiment, then jump in right when the professor walked by. Great teamwork, you two, she'd say, and Brad would flash that stupid grin. I started keeping track. Out of 12 lab sessions, Brad had genuinely participated in maybe three. The rest of the time, I was doing double the work while he got equal credit. My roommate kept telling me to say something, but I didn't want to be that guy who rats out his partner. Plus, Brad had this way of making me feel like I was being dramatic whenever I brought up the workload. Then came the announcement that made my blood run cold. Your final project will be worth 50% of your grade, Professor Mitchell explained. You'll have six weeks to design and execute an original experiment, then present your findings to the class. Brad immediately leaned over. This is perfect, dude. We've got this. I wanted to believe him. Week one, we met to brainstorm ideas. I came with five potential experiments researched and outlined. Brad showed up with a coffee and said, whatever you think is best, man, you're the genius here. I asked him to research equipment costs for our chosen experiment. He said he'd email me the breakdown by Friday. Friday came and went. When I texted him, he said he'd been swamped, but would definitely have it by Monday. I'd already written half our proposal and needed his input on methodology. Still working on it, he kept saying, don't worry, I got this. I started doing his research too, telling myself it was just to keep us on track. We were supposed to submit our project proposal. I'd written the entire thing. Brad read it over, suggested changing one word, then said, looks good, partner, like he'd been involved the whole time. Professor Mitchell approved our proposal but now came the real work. We needed to actually conduct the experiment, collect data, and analyze results. I ran the first round of tests alone because Brad had a family emergency. The second round, he had a job interview. A week before the presentation, I'd conducted every single test, recorded all data, started our analysis, and begun writing our final report. Brad's contribution was asking, how's it coming along every few days? I finally cornered him. Brad, I need your section of the report. We present Monday. He looked genuinely confused. What section? The methodology section you've been working on for weeks. Oh, that. Yeah, I've been super busy with other classes. Can't you just handle it? You're way better at this stuff, anyway. Anyway. Two days before, I tried again. Brad, seriously, where's your work? Dude, relax, we've got time. The night before our presentation, he finally dropped the axe. Look, can't you just put my name on what you've got? We're partners, right? That's how partnerships work. I stared at him for a long moment, then smiled. You know what? You're absolutely right. See, I knew you'd understand. I'll take care of everything, I said. The next morning, Brad strutted into class looking confident. He'd even dressed up for the presentation, probably figuring he'd coast through another victory. I walked to the front and handed Professor Mitchell our report. Just one copy, with only my name on it. Brad's face went white. Wait, where's our presentation? Oh. I submitted the project we worked on, I said loud enough for the class to hear. Since you did zero work over six weeks, I figured you'd want zero credit. Brad started stammering. That's not fair. We were supposed to be partners. Professor Mitchell looked between us, then flipped through my report. Mr. Brad, what was your contribution to this project? He couldn't answer because there wasn't one. I see, she said. Well, I suppose we'll proceed with the presentation as submitted. Brad begged for an extension, but Professor Mitchell had heard every excuse in the book. I gave my presentation to a room full of classmates who knew exactly what had happened. I got an A. Brad got a zero and had to retake the entire class class.